y'all, you know what? I actually had fun with this movie. This movie had, it had some sci-fi moments. It had some horror moments. It had like, made me feel like I was watching Rampage, Godzilla with all the little dinosaurs fighting each other. I had a good time. is Sharana from Pay or Wait and today I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic Girls directed by J.A. Bayona who is responsible for the movie Impossible and it stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard and basically in this film we see that this takes place a couple of years after the events that led in the previous Jurassic World film where um, basically all these people were injured the dinosaurs got out it was just mayhem the company had to close down pay out all these people and now we are living in a new era where um, we are now trying to decide that after all of the events that happened in the past couple of years, do these dinosaurs deserve to live? Do they have rights? Do we need to protect them as endangered species? And so more specifically, um, there is actually an active volcano and it's going to erupt any, any day. And if it happens and it erupts, the dinosaurs will basically be wiped away. And so during the course of this film, it has... Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, who is now an activist, she is fighting for dinosaurs' rights. She is trying to help save these dinosaurs, and they are kind of given a mission where they are supposed to help save these species so the dinosaurs can continue to live in peace so they can be preserved and do not die. But they have to fight to make sure that the dinosaurs fall into the right hands because as we saw from the previous films, there are people out there who want to make a profit from the dinosaurs. They want to use the dinosaurs to make money. They want to use the dinosaurs to basically help form weapons as we saw uh, what was discussed in the previous film. So what did I like about this movie? I felt like they gave me a lot with this movie, y'all. Like I said, it had like little sci-fi elements to it. It had horror elements to it. One of the things that I really, really enjoyed about this film was their use of shadows. Like you don't even have to see the full, um, the full look of the dinosaur. You just see kind of like the teeth or you see the claws like in the shadow, like how they shot it. I thought that they did a very great job. In the opening scene of this film, like one of the first opening action sequences of this film, I was just like, woo, y'all did that. Like I was, I was focused. I was like zoned in. My friend was like, are you asleep? I was like, no, I'm focused. I'm watching this. I was just like, this is some, this is good y'all. Like this was really great. And so um, one of my f um, favorite new additions to the film was this kid um, called Franklin, who was played by Justice Smith. And if you've watched The Get Down, um, you would have seen him. He was the main character on The Get Down. And he plays basically this like uh, nerd who is really smart and he needs to hack into like kind of computer stuff. Um, but he is super, super scared of every single thing. And he provided some good uh, comedic moments in the film. I wish I saw a little bit more of him because he kind of disappears like halfway through the film, um, but it will make sense to you as you're watching it. Um, but I really enjoy his character, you guys. I have to say, like, even with what they do with the dinosaurs and how they kind of up the ante with the new dinosaur, you know, it always has to be this new big and bad dinosaur. For this one, it is the Indoraptor. And I was just like, how do you keep outdoing yourselves, okay? It's just great. I love watching all of the dinosaurs, but I love my homie Blue, okay? Blue, that's who I came back to see, y'all. That's, that's who I was here for. I've been riding with Blue since the last movie. I've grown an attachment to Blue. So it was great um, to watch everyone's interaction on screen um, even to watch like when the dinosaurs are fighting even when the dinosaurs are trying to run for their lives I just had a great time with this movie now even though I had a great time with it there are some issues with the film first and foremost it was like three different plots going on with this movie I felt like there were three different movies pieced together and they couldn't make a decision on should we just focus the movie on this part or should we focus it on that part and I kind of felt as though that was coming because as we saw when they first released the teaser trailer and they kind of released the other trailers I was just like damn I didn't got a different movie from each trailer that you guys have put out and it makes sense because when you're watching the movie you're just like Y'all could have just stuck with one of these plots and just carry that throughout the entire film and you would have been fine. But I guess no one could make their minds up. So they just threw everything together. So it was just, it was a lot going on. For me, it didn't take away from the film because I don't know if people are going to expect like these Oscar worthy performances or whatnot, but I'm just going to watch the dinosaurs, see my friend Blue, see some dinosaurs fight each other, see some stuff blow up, see some people get scared, get eaten. That's what we're here for. I don't know like what else people want to see. I just know that people are giving this kind of bad reviews and saying that the 
acting or the dialogue. I'm just like, that's not, we're here for the dinosaurs. Like really the humans don't really matter that much. Like I'm just, just here for the dinos. I don't know. That was just me. But for me, I would have to say that you should pay to see this movie in theaters. Like I thought I was scared. I was sad. There's this moment um, in the first part of the film, one of the first plot lines of the movie. And it was so sad. And I was just like, I felt like I was watching the land before time when Little Neck or Longfoot, whatever his name was. And he was like, mama, mama. I was just like, I can't take this, y'all. I think they did a very great job of helping you kind of connect with the dinosaurs and really feel sorry for them. Like, I felt sorry for them before in some of the previous movies, but this one, like, I really felt it. I was just like, damn, can we give the dinosaurs some rights, y'all? But those are my thoughts on um, Jurassic World. Like I said, you should definitely pay to go see this movie in theaters. I had a great time with it. I thought it was a solid follow-up to Jurassic World. But those are my thoughts. As always, my name is Sharana from Pay Your Weight. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit like, share this video with your friends, and I will see you soon.